Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Luke Goff and if you're looking to break into cybersecurity in 2025, you're in the right place. Today I'm going to walk you through five of the top entry level certifications that can seriously boost your chances of landing a cybersecurity job. If you don't have a degree, no problem. Now is the perfect time to get certified and stand out. Now I've been a recruiter for almost 14 years and I know what hiring managers actually care about. These certifications, they hold weight, they demonstrate commitment and help you build a solid cybersecurity foundation. I'll start with three certifications that I believe every beginner should consider. The Network Plus, the Security Plus and the ISC2 Certified in Cybersecurity. Now, while the Google Cybersecurity Certification has gained traction, I've chosen to discuss Security Plus because it's widely recognized by hiring managers and serves as a strong industry standard. Then I'll introduce a certification if you're looking to go down the SOC analyst route and another if you want to specialize in cloud security. Before we jump in, if you find this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe so you don't miss out on more career advice. Now let's get straight to it. Number one, the CompTIA Network Plus, the networking foundation. So why is this important? Well, cybersecurity is built on networking. If you don't understand how networks work, how devices communicate, what protocols are in place and how data moves, you're gonna struggle in security. What does this cover? It covers network architecture and protocols. You'll learn how to troubleshoot network issues, You'll learn security fundamentals related to networking. You'll learn wireless and wired network configurations and cloud computing and virtual networking concepts. So if we're talking about who should take this, well, if you're new to IT and want to understand how networks operate before jumping into security, Network Plus is a great first step. While it's not a must have for everyone, it does make Security Plus easier to graph. Many cybersecurity roles like stock analysts or pen testers or even security engineers benefit from strong networking knowledge. You're looking at a cost of around 369 US to do this certification. Okay, moving on to number two, the CompTIA Security Plus, the industry standard. So why is this important? Well, the Security Plus is one of the best certification for beginners in cybersecurity. Many hiring managers consider it the baseline requirement for entry level security roles. What does it cover? You'll learn so many core security concepts such as threats, vulnerabilities and attack. You'll learn risk management and compliance. You'll learn cryptography, network security and access control. You'll learn about identity and access management, security operation and incident response and much, much more. Now, in terms of who should take it, well, if you want a well-rounded cybersecurity certification that is recognized by employers globally, then the Security Plus should definitely be on your list. It's offered a prerequisite for roles like security analysts or SOC analysts and IT security specialists. You're looking at a cost of around 400 US dollars to complete this. Okay, next up, number three, the ISC2 Certified in Cybersecurity. So why is this important? Well. The Certified in Cybersecurity is a relatively new certification from ISC2, the organization behind CISSP, one of the most respected cybersecurity certification. You cover everything from security principles and access control, risk management and network security. You'll cover all incident response fundamentals, foundational security on operations concepts and much, much more. So who should take it? Well, if you're looking for a vendor neutral, beginner friendly certification, I really recommend this. It's a great choice. Plus, ISC2 is offering free training and exams to encourage newcomers into the industry. It's an excellent certification for those considering GRC roles or cybersecurity consultant or stock analyst positions. You're looking at around 200 US dollars to complete this. I want to pause to say a quick thank you to our sponsor, SSR Personnel. This video is proudly sponsored by SSR Personnel, one of the leading specialist recruitment consultancies for security professionals, including corporate security, cybersecurity, safety, fire and security engineering and risk management. Now, if you're looking to land your first job in cybersecurity or take your next step in your security career, SS Personnel connects talented professionals with top employers across the industry on a global basis, including offices in London, Australia, and the Middle East. They specialize in roles across SOC analysis, threat intelligence, risk management, cloud security, and much, much more, ensuring that candidates find the perfect fit for their skills and their career aspirations. So if you're working on getting certified and wondering what's next, check out SSR Personnel for expert guidance and exciting job opportunities in the security space. I'll leave all the details in the description below. Now back to the video. Moving on to number four, Blue Team Level 1, Security Blue Team. Why is this important? Well, security operation centers are the first line of defense in cybersecurity. If you're interested in threat detection, 
incident response and SOC operations, then the Blue Team Level 1 certification would be a great choice for you. It is designed to be hands-on, providing practical experience in very real-world cybersecurity scenarios. It covers everything from security information and event management basics, SIEM. It covers threat hunting, network traffic analysis, digital forensics, incident response, malware analysis fundamentals, and much, much more. So who should take it? If you want to become a SOC analyst, this certification provides practical, real-world skills that will set you apart. I really recommend this. It's more hands-on than many other entry-level certifications, which makes it ideal for security analysis, SOC analysis, or incident responder roles. You're looking at a cost of around 490 US for all the training and exam. Okay, moving on to number five, AWS Certified Security or the Microsoft Certified Assurance Security. Why is this important? Well, cloud security is one of the fastest growing areas in cybersecurity. As more companies move their infrastructure to the cloud, they constantly need professionals who understand how to secure it. Now, whether you choose AWS or Assure, both certifications prove your expertise in cloud security. So let's break them down. Now, I know I mentioned technically two certifications here, but really you could choose one or the other or both, depending on your preference or the route you're going down. But firstly, let's have a look at what AWS security covers. Well, it covers AWS security best practices. It covers identity and access management. It covers cloud threat detection, incident response, security automation and monitoring tool. Then if we look at the Assure Security Engineer, we're looking at Assure Security Management and Identity Controls, Threat Protection and Cloud Security Monitoring. You'll learn how to secure Assure-based applications and hybrid environments, and you'll learn incident response and data security. So who should take these? Well, quite frankly, if you want to specialize in cloud security, either AWS or Assure certifications are game changers. Some prior experience with cloud platforms is recommended, but earning these certs will help you stand out in a competitive job market. These are perfect for those aiming to become the cloud security engineers, cloud security architects, or DevSecOps professionals. Now, you're looking at a cost of around 100 US to do either of these certifications. So now let's quickly recap the top five entry-level cybersecurity certifications for 2025. One, the CompTIA Network Plus. Great for understanding networks before diving into security. Two, the CompTIA Security Plus the gold standard for entry-level cybersecurity roles. Three, the ISC2 Certified in Cybersecurity, a new respected beginner-friendly certification. Four, the Blue Team Level 1. This is probably the best hands-on certification for SOC analysts. And number five, the AWS Certified Security Specialty or the Azure Security Engineer Associate, the best for cloud security careers. I appreciate that I haven't covered red team certifications in this video, but I'll tackle those in a future episode. Now, if you're serious about breaking into cybersecurity, these certifications will set you up for success. Let me know in the comments, which certification are you planning to take first? And if you found this helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and remember to check out my weekly newsletter, The Career Compass. Keep leveling up your career, and I'll see you all in the next video.